So this next step, you want to open your resource directory, go to values and styles. Now we have a base application theme and we have a custom one. What we want to do is mess with the custom one. Now, what you want to do here is make a custom theme. So our app bar stands out. That's our theme. We give it a style. Now we're going, we have a base style and we're going to end it. Um, we're going to end that one and we're going to create a new one right here, our custom one. And we're going to give this name um, custom uh, toolbar style. All right. And every style has to have a parent style. We're going to go ahead and go with the light no action bar style. We're going to close that. Now we have uh, three colors here. So if I get rid of this first, um, basically all this is is we're giving a style to our toolbar, or we're creating a custom toolbar style, and it inherits from the light no action bar style. So if we go into our um, layout, app bar, and text, we can now give it another attribute and go to app theme. And we're going to say uh, at style slash custom toolbar style, the one we just made. So now it's going to give our app bar this theme that corresponds to custom toolbar style, which is the pretty much right now it's the light no action bar. So let's go ahead and run this. We have here uh, pretty much the same thing, but it did change. You just can't tell because we already had this theme in our manifest um, right here. So our next step is to give this um, theme some more color to it so we can see a change. So if we add an item <coughs> name, we'll do background. We'll change the background of this toolbar. And we'll do, uh, I don't know, let's do add color, color primary. So what is this right here? Where did I get this? So if we go into our colors value, we see we have a primary, a primary dark, and an accent color. And we can change uh, these up if we want. We'll go ahead and do that now. And uh, there's a code that corresponds to these. <clears throat> but if you go ahead and go to Google or Chrome or whatever you use, go to coolers.co. I'll leave the link in the description. If you go to this website, you can generate color palettes. It gives you coordination of colors that go very well together. And you can use these codes um, to give your app a, a nice theme or style to it. So what we did here was we made the background color our primary color. And our primary color is this right here, which looks like this. So let's go ahead and run it now. There we go. We have a My Action Bar with the primary color. So now that we know it's there, we're going to go ahead and make it even look even better by adding uh, some menu items such as a settings icon to it. So to do this, you go into resource, new, Android resource file, and change this to menu. I'm just going to name this menu. So what we can do here is we can, just like styles where you edit all your styles, colors where you put all your colors, uh, strings, obviously your strings, and menu, this is where we put our menu items. So we're going to get an item and we're going to give it an ID of action settings. All right. Then we're going to give it a title. Our menu item title is going to be uh, so so we could either hard code this in uh, for example, if I do this and we go back into our design, you'll see we have a test. So what this did was the ID is action settings. 
and uh, that's what we're naming it because this is just standard to call this action settings. You, you can name it whatever you want, uh, but test is the title to it. Um, we could hard code it in, but a better programming practice is to go into our strings file, and we're going to make another string named, um, we'll do action settings. Actually, no, we'll do a settings name. And we're going to give it the name of settings. So now, instead of typing it in right here, we can actually go into et style or et string and then settings name. And if we go into design, it changes to settings. And the reason this is better programming practice is because if I were to do this, yes, you get the same effect, same uh, program. However, if I have all, if I have to change this line, say I have many lines of code where I have the title and I just hard code it into settings, and 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 I update my app where I don't want settings. I don't want this to say settings anymore. I want it to say check for updates, you know. Then I have to go back into every single one of these and type in check for updates. Rather, if I did this uh, settings name, I can simply go into my strings and then this is what it's referring to. I could just change it in one place in my app, check for updates. And now if I go back, we can see it says check for updates. That's why it's better programming practice. Uh, I just want to stress that out because you want to get used to programming this way. So we're going to add one more attribute, uh, Android show. Um, honestly, I forgot what this is called. I think it's app colon show as action. Never. Ah, there we go. Never. Um, and right here, it's not there, so we just hit Option or Alt on our keyboard and then Enter. And it added whatever we needed uh, to be added. Uh, so it's still red. It looks like I typed this in wrong. Let's see. App shows action. Never. Close. All right, there we go. Now if we go into our design, we have it. So what is this exactly? I'll show you in a little bit. Um, basically, basically, here, we look at design. You have to click this to show check for updates. Rather, if we say always, it's just there. Uh, and if there's if room, if we have multiple items, then uh, if there's room to display this, it will. But I like just the three dots, so I'm going to do never. Now, uh, we go back into our main activity, uh, Java file. And we want to generate um, a few more methods, because if we run this right now, we see there's no three dots. So what's the problem? You hit Control-O, and we're going to want to do on create options menu. And we're going to put that one in there. And then there's one more, control O, and we're gonna do uh, options items, on options item selected. So this is gonna create that options menu for us, the three dots, and this will determine basically what item is selected. We don't have to worry in this case, this tutorial specifically, because there's only one item. But if you do want the code for that, basically you just do a switch statement and um, switch item dot get item ID and then you know you do your cases and check which which one is um, which item was selected which menu item now if we go ahead and run this oh we don't have it yet what was the problem well for some reason in your on create options menu we actually have to create a menu inflator and we'll just name it inflator and we're, you get it from the get menu inflator. 
So basically it's going to give us an object that lets us um, inflate our menu or fill our menu. And remember, our menu is this thing right here. So we have to get it and then fill it up with what we want. So we're going to inflate it or, inf or fill it with uh, r.menu.menu. And the next parameter is just this one that we're bringing in. So now if we run it, what we have is this right here. And it says check for updates, just what we want. Now, I'm going to do a really quick um, advanced step. So as you see, we have this, but it's along this action bar. And I do not like that. I like it under the action bar. So actually, if you go into your menu.xml one more time, so it's actually at bar.xml. So remember, we gave it a theme, which gave us this blue bar right here. But if we give it a pop-up theme at style, um, we're going to give it another style to change that pop-up theme. So if we go into our styles, we're going to, uh, let's just go ahead and do this, copy and paste, and we'll say this is our uh, menu item theme. And instead of custom toolbar style, we'll do we'll do a custom pop-up style. And now if we instead of doing our background the same background, let's go ahead and do the accent color. So let's go ahead and go back into our app bar now and fill this out. So it's at style, custom, pop-up style. Let's go ahead and run this. Now when we click this, we have a different style. Um, but again, it's not below this uh, action bar. So if we go into our styles one more time, so we want to add one more item. And we're going to overlap the anchor view false, and one more item, um, drop down vertical offset, um, we're going to do negative 4 dp. Now if we run this, just like this one, if we run it, oh it didn't work, hold on, uh, just get rid of Android. Now, should work. We run it. And there we go. Check for updates. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll add a, uh, when we press this with multiple menu items, it'll add an action. Thanks for watching.